Hi guys, Sandy from The Paddle School here. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about a very difficult shot that a lot of players struggle with when they come to the paddle court, and that is the return after the glass with your backhand. Now, we've previously done a video on the forehand side playing it after the glass, but the backhand is a little bit more complicated due to the technique and the contact point, things like that. So in this video, we're gonna cover the type of serves that go into the glass and how you can expect the rebound, the technique for actually hitting this shot, and also where you should be trying to hit this shot if you can. Please hit the subscribe button. It shows me that you're enjoying this content, but also it's putting it out in front of more paddle players and therefore helping grow the sport internationally. So to begin with, we're gonna talk about the reaction of the ball off the side glass and how to deal with it with different types of spin or angles. We're only gonna focus on the glass for today. I'll do a different video covering the serve down the tee. So to begin with, we'll talk about the angle of the ball when it goes into the glass. Now, this is something that players either struggle when the player is serving from wide and it comes in with more angle, or if they're serving from the center and it comes with less angle and therefore stays a bit closer to the glass. Now, I've set these lines up so that they go directly from the outside of the service box towards this glass. And you can see that that ball coming in like this, it actually is bouncing quite far away from the glass. And a lot of players, they get stuck because they stepping towards and then they find this ball in their body but if there's a player that is serving from wide in that service box serving into the front of the glass like this you can see that that ball is going to come away from the glass that means that you need to give that ball lots of space before you play your return so in this example, you can see that I've moved the lines to simulate a serve that's coming from down the tee from the center. And here you can see that ball goes in and it still comes off at the angle. Yes, the angle is less and it's a shallower bounce, but it still comes away from that glass. And you can see that the angle is getting greater and greater and there's more and more space here the further you go back in the court. So this is just an illustration to show you that you don't necessarily need to rush and take that ball before it bounces with the glass because even even at this shallow angle, it's still gonna come away from the side glass. Now we'll talk about the reaction of spin off that side glass. And there are a few different types of spin that servers use. To begin with, we'll talk about side spin. So this is when the player comes round the back of the ball like this and creates that spin. Now you mainly see this at beginner to intermediate level because they know that their opponents struggle with this type of return. But once you get above that level, actually it's a really easy ball to return because it bounces away from the glass. So that side spin, creates a spin that will hit the glass and come away. If you're serving as a right-hander into this corner, you just need to give the ball space to allow it to come off the glass. The biggest problem is players step towards that ball and then they find it in their body because they're not anticipating that rebound off the glass. If it's a left-hander serving from this side into this corner with side spin, you know that the ball is gonna stay quite close to the glass. This is actually one of the more difficult returns to hit. It stays close to the glass because the spin has the opposite reaction. It's going the other way around and therefore it's a little bit more shallow when the rebound comes off the glass. The next serve to talk about will be topspin. And again, this is kind of beginner to intermediate level because the returners find it difficult to start with, but once they understand the reaction, then it's a lot easier. So the topspin serve, that will come in, that will hit the glass and that will come up a little bit. Now, this is something that players often get in their position. They're not anticipating the topspin and then they're caught out at the last moment because it's jumped up a little bit. If you see your opponent is gonna play topspin on that ball, you want to either give yourself more space to let it come away from the glass or you want to be prepared to contact a little bit higher if you can. The next variety we'll talk about will be flat. So this is without spin. This is normally where players hit the ball a little bit faster and it comes into this glass and the reaction of the ball with the glass will be almost exactly as we put out with the lines where it will come off a reaction like that. The problem that players face when the ball is a little bit faster is if they don't prepare early enough or turn their body, then they get into real trouble because it becomes a last minute rush. If they prepare early, then all they have to do is adjust their feet, decide if they're gonna take it before the glass or after the glass. Once you've made that decision, you're then in a comfortable position allowing that ball off the glass. 
So the last of these spins is the slice. Now this is the most common one when you get to higher levels and it's the one that a lot of players use because it keeps the ball low. Now, normally that's a lower trajectory. It comes in, it bounces, hits the glass and goes down a little bit. And this is what players really struggle with because often they have a bit of an overextended backswing and they don't have time for this shot. We're gonna go into the technique in a second, but just to know when the ball comes in with slice, it's gonna hit and it's gonna stay low after the rebound. So when we talk about the technique for this, the most important thing is the preparation. As soon as you see that ball going to the left-hand side of the body, you know it's a backhand. Whether you take it before the glass or afterwards, it's gonna be a backhand. So from your ready position, you immediately take that racket back, you turn your shoulders, and you start adjusting your feet to where you want to hit the ball. Now, if that ball is coming in off the glass, you give it a little bit of space. You can see here that my racket is not too far back. I'm not having a huge swing at that ball. My elbows are quite close to my side, because because it's a compact shot and here you just have a nice compact swing through to contact the ball just in front of your right hip and go through the ball like that. Now the backhand is more difficult than the forehand because it's really important to get that contact at the front of your body. It's very difficult to kind of hit the ball if your contact is behind that, yeah? So in the forehand, it's a little bit easier because you can contact back here and you can use your wrist to try and control the ball. Whereas the backhand, you really have to try and get that contact just in front of your body. You don't want it to be too far, otherwise you're just relying on wrist, but you also want to make sure that it doesn't end up being behind you. So before we talk about the common errors, I just want to talk about the movement pattern when it comes to the return. So in your ready position here, you've got two options. Either you step diagonally forward and you take that ball before the glass, or you allow it to hit the glass and you actually move backwards, giving that ball space. The biggest common error is that players from this position, they allow the ball to hit the glass, but then they step towards the ball and it ends up in their body and then therefore they can't hit their shot properly. So that's one thing you want to think about, either diagonally forward or move back and give the ball space. The amount of space you give the ball depends on the characteristics of the ball and the way the server is serving, like we talked at the beginning of the video. So for example, if the ball is coming in with a wide angle, you can anticipate the ball will come off with a wide angle, therefore you give the ball loads of space. If they're serving from the tee, you can know that the ball is gonna hit the glass and it's gonna stay a little bit closer. It will rebound, but you need to be a little bit closer in your preparation. Those are two things you can think of before they've even touched the ball. Then you can look at the spin, if they're going to hit side spin, give the ball extra space so that you can swing. If they're going to hit slice, then you want to have your racket a little bit lower in preparation and also it can be shorter. If they hit a fast slice, which is the most difficult of the serves, you want to have your racket low and not too far in the take back because from here it's easier for you to block up like this rather than being in a full back position and then having a desperate lunge at the ball. When it comes to the direction of the shot, don't try and go for something too complicated. You're just blocking the ball back to the server. If you can hit down to their feet, that's even better. Don't try and go for a lob if you're not confident because it can be very difficult to be accurate with that. Here you're basically just neutralizing their serve off the glass and you're gonna then rebuild the point from the back of the court. So this is basically just getting that ball back in play and starting the point from there. This shot is all about confidence because the moment that you're a bit nervous on it or you panic, your arm gets tighter and therefore it's even more difficult to play. And the only way that you're gonna build confidence is by practicing the ball after the rebound. It's a little bit like when players are learning and they want to learn the ball off the back glass. At the beginning, everyone's half volleying and volleying to avoid the back glass and you never practice it, but it's the same here. If you're constantly stepping across like this to try and block it before it hits the side glass, then you're never actually gonna practice hitting your return after the rebound. So just get used to that. Allow the ball to come off and try and play your backhand. Yes, maybe you're gonna miss a few to begin with, but over time you'll get used to the rebound, used to the type of spin, and that will lead to hitting a better return. Now today we talked about the side glass, and that's one of many of the glass shots. You've got the double glass, the back glass, attacking, defending, and we cover all of those in our walls course, which you can find on the paddleschool.com. I'll put the link in the description down below, but that's a great place if you want to learn the techniques for how to use the glass and build your confidence in that area of the game.